Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the mesh modeling tools Knife and Bisect. So let's start with the Knife tool. Now the Knife tool simply allows you to cut in geometry, and you can access this tool by hitting the K key, uh, which is its hotkey, or hitting spacebar, and then selecting it from the option, just like all the other tools. But if you hit K, you'll get the little Knife tool and a green dot. And this green dot is just the placement of the vertex that you are creating. And so you can just click it in and place it. And you'll notice that it, as we move along, it's adding in these extra vertices. And when I cross over an edge, it realizes, hey, I need to put a vertice here. So it'll actually snap onto uh, that edge there. And we could snap it on to the corner vertex if we wanted to. So we could let's go ahead and do that. And then kind of come around here and just cut in this extra geometry and return it. Now, we've cut in all this geometry, but we haven't applied anything. So in order to confirm that selection, you cannot left click since that's how you add in new um, vertices. But if you hit the enter key, it will confirm that and you will now have these new vertices that you've added in. Now, you might want to do this um, you know, for a couple of different reasons, but I have the tool active currently. The knife tool is still active. And so simply left-clicking allows me to enter into the knife tool, and I'll hit enter to confirm again, and there we are. So the knife tool can be pretty useful, um, but let's take a minute and go, okay, well, what a second. I don't actually want these vertices here. So let's switch to our select tool, and let's talk about how we remove them. So we can hit the X key, and when we, get, when we hit the X key, we actually bring up uh, a special delete menu. Now, if we don't hit the X key, if we just hit delete, we get this menu as well. We just don't get this menu in object mode. So in edit mode, you can either hit the X or the delete keys to get this special delete menu. And in here, you have a couple of options. So you can choose to delete your vertices, faces, edges, whatever. And so let's take a look at those. So if we delete that one vertex there, what you'll see is I still have these vertices, which I then have to delete, and I still have this one. And if we just delete them, it deletes the entire face because now that uh, those vertices aren't there to hold the face together. So instead of deleting them, what we can do is something called dissolving them. Now dissolve essentially tries to uh, remove the vertice that you want or the edge that you've got selected and then re-merge the edges and faces that it was connected to. So with this one here, I'll hit X, we'll dissolve that vertex and notice now the edge connects from here to this vertice. We'll dissolve that vertex again and dissolve that one again. And then let's say we could take uh, this one as well, dissolve that one. And what that did was it it did dissolve that vertice, but it did not reconnect our face. So we would either have to go in here and dissolve these vertices and then dissolve these edges in order for this one vertex to disappear. Or we could simply grab this vertex here, dissolve that one vertice, connect these back together and hit J to rejoin those faces. All right, now that only works because I did not remove this one uh, vertex here. We would then have to reset it up if we had removed that because that's the original corner, but you guys get the idea. All right, if we dissolve that edge, it reconnects the edge over there. If we just dissolve the vertices, it still does that because these are connected to here. So then we can just grab these and dissolve them and dissolve those and return our cube back to its original form. But the knife tool can be very useful for just quickly cutting in extra geometry. So if I wanted to make this a triangle, um, you can see that we can like backtrack our way out from that. If we can't backtrack it, we'll just click and drag. And there we go and hit enter. And now we've cut through those faces. So that's pretty much the knife tool. Now let's take a second and look at the knife tool's other option, the bisect tool. All right, so the bisect tool is a really quick way to cut a mesh in two uh, along a custom plane. So basically, uh, you have to select what you want to cut, and then once you've selected it, you can actually choose 
uh, how to cut it. And so you can see that as I click and drag and rotate, there is now the orange line that has appeared. And this is the edge loop that's going to be created around what we have. Now, uh, if we're let's go ahead and undo that just so we can check what we have selected. So right now I only have these three faces selected and these three faces are not. The bisect tool will only allow us to cut through what we have selected. So if I go this way, you can see that no face is cut through on this side or this side, only the ones we had selected. So if I go ahead and just select everything now and I wanted to cut through it all, we could cut uh, here. And then we have some options that we can play around with in the operator panel. Now with this, uh, we have the ability to kind of rotate our cut. If we click and drag on the outside, we can move the arrow and move the uh, cut a little bit to the, or in the direction that we need to go. Where there's also an arrow here, um, which handles the plane points. Not really sure what that means, but that is handleable from there. Then we have some operator panel options here, and we can clear the inner option, which, or we can clear the outer option, which is just going to remove half of that mesh, um, or what one side of that mesh. And then we have the option to fill it. So if we clear the inner and keep the outer, and then we fill that, now it's just added in a face in the direction that we want. And that can get a little bit more useful if the uh, the angle is not the way you want. It's say you didn't want to bevel that, you could just bisect that in there, clear the uh, outer, fill that in, and now you've got your cut face. All right, that is basically the bisect tool. It's really useful if you need to cut an entire thing in half. Otherwise, there are other tools that can achieve kind of the same effect quicker. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.